The uh, Australian Centre in Additive manuf Manufacturing is focused on the design and development of implants for patients which have bone defects, which have cartilage defects or other injuries and we use uh, high-tech 3D printing technologies to bring this to our healthcare system. So, uh, as we are translating as fast as we can, we have done already headways in uh, three major projects. So one of the projects is related that we design and 3D print 3D cancer models, which allow us to do drug testing much more efficiently and effectively in the future. Another project we are very excited about is uh, uh, the development of what we call a biopen. This is done by uh, our collaborators, by a, a team which is composed of surgeons and engineers and material scientists. And last but not least, a, a very recent project which we see the translation also being very, very quickly is a microsurgical training device which is mainly based on 3D technologies which will really revolutionize how surgeons are trained in the future. Uh, I think the microsurgery training device is very exciting. Uh, it is something that could be used for a wide variety of training exercises. So I can see that it has the um, capacity to allow people to train on different types of material, which is representative of what we experience in real life performing microsurgery. Uh, it uh, also would cater to a wide variety of expertise. Uh, so someone who's an entry level microsurgeon, for example, just beginning their training, uh, would have the opportunity to use materials that are slightly easier to handle and someone with more experience could use materials then that are a little bit more friable uh, and that's exactly how things are for us uh, in real life. I also find the opportunity to get some uh, objective information about the quality of the anastomosis really exciting. Uh, you know, testing the, the, um, the breaking strain of the anastomosis for example, seeing whether it's watertight or not uh, something that we've not been able to do on anything other than um, a living model, um, which obviously is something that you can't access in a dry laboratory. I've looked at a number of different uh, sizes and thicknesses and the, the material in this conduit, for example, feels and looks very much like a small artery of the kind that we would be performing uh, real microvascular anastomoses on. Uh, there are some other materials there, the larger conduits that look and feel very much like a, a large vein, for example. Uh, so I think that they would be uh, really quite representative of, of what we deal with each day. So this centre is based on that we do a lot of fundamental research, but a major focus is on translational research, where we want to bring uh, products and treatment concepts as soon as possible to the Australian patient and later on to the global patient.